Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today, as I promised you in the previous video with Dacia Duster, I have with me the new Dacia Duster 2 facelift 2022 model. And in this video, we will make the test drive. I have the automatic version. That's the great, great news, guys. I know you are waiting for such a long time and today is finally the big day when I finally have this new Dacia Duster with the automatic transmission. And in this video, we will drive the car we will see how it's handling on the road how it's changed the gears how is the acceleration and everything in terms of driving so stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out everything about this new Dacia Duster first of all as always if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos all the new reviews test drives and everything about cars so stay close guys Anyway, before we go forward, I want to give you the technical data and I want to tell you more details about the car that we will drive it today. So first of all, I want to tell you that it comes with a 1.3 liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line. The power of the car, 150 horsepower, 250 Newton meters. It's a front wheel drive and it's connected with this automatic transmission, six speed dual clutch. The consumption of the car, VLTP estimated 6.2 liters. Also the fuel tank capacity, 50 liter and the range VLTP estimated range with the tank it's 806 kilometers the CO2 emission VLTP 141 grams also the top speed of the car 200 km per hour and 0 to 109.7 seconds also the ground clearance 21.7 centimeters the car used in the front ventilated brake discs on the rear it used the classic drum brakes and also it comes with 17 inch rims i will show you also later and i will show you also in the full review video so guys stay close because i will have another video full review interior exterior there you will find out more about the car now the trunk space 478 liters if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1623 liters also in the front the car come with independent suspension mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar on the rear we have independent cross arms coil spring so those are the most important information now guys let me give you the price by the way guys i'm right here in switzerland at gallicker garage in Bern. i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check them out guys because they have really good price they are nice and also they have a good service here let me talk a little bit about the price guys so the basis price of this Dacia Duster Prestige it's 22,890 francs that's in Switzerland okay and if you add the extras for example you have the heating seat in the front it's great for the winter 250 if you add for example the metallic color 550 extra if you want the spare tire you will have to pay 100 extra if you want multi-view camera 300 extra and if you want keyless entrance and also extra two usb ports in the back here you will have to pay again another 300 it's kind of a full option i should say like that uh, and the final price will be 24,390 francs and yeah i will add the price also in dollars so you can make an idea the weight of the car 1403 kilograms and i guess i cover everything all the technical data in the beginning now let's drive the car let's see how it's handling on the road guys all right guys so here we are with the new dacia duster with the automatic transmission let's go inside and let's drive it you can leave the key actually here because the car come with the start stop engine button also keyless entrance but all about those features i will talk in the other video i will have a separate video full review with this duster interior exterior there i explain every single feature about it in this video i want to focus more on automatic transmission and the driving uh, feeling so also the car come with a manual handbrake keep this in mind also you have this new armrest in leather right here that it's really good quality i like it to be honest also you can extend it like that it comes also with those seats fabric material seats with duster on it also you have side support they are super comfortable i sit on them i drive the car a few times and it's super comfy they are bright they are big i sit really good here also the steering wheel is the same steering wheel uh, as come on the latest this uh, dacia duster for example is the same one and 
yeah the controllers here are also the same also you have electric adjustment on the mirrors you can adjust the mirrors very simple from here i like that and also it comes with a classic cockpit i wish dacia in the future to change this cockpit to come with something new a digital cockpit but i guess in this price range it's quite okay all you have to do guys we have normal pedals no aluminum pedals down there press the brake press the start engine button behind the steering wheel and the engine it's on right now it's very simple it's work really good really fast and then here it comes also with the automatic climatic system i like it very much this climatic system i'm kind of a big fan of it actually i will try to stop it because we don't need it also you have an echo function you have a button here and you can activate the echo function you can see on the screen right there when you are in echo mode the car will try to accelerate slowly and save some petrol anyway you have the parking sensors you have also this button for 360 degrees camera keep in mind that the car come with a 360 degrees camera very useful to be honest i didn't expect to find it in this price range and also you have these active lines that help you parking and also yeah i find it very useful let me leave the handbrake down and let's drive it guys here is the stick that you can change the position of the driving modes so for example you have the reverse one it's first and you can go in reverse for example if you want to park the car you just put it in reverse and then just park it very good visibility here uh, on those cameras and then if you want to go the next one is neutral and then it's drive this is drive normal drive mode you can do also manually you go left and then now down and up you change the gears manually or you can leave it on the right side in drive mode right now we are in drive mode and i guess let's drive it guys also i will try to reset the consumption if i go here on the screen let me see tire pressure okay average now i can reset this average 30 km per hour distance range and current average how can i reset this i think i have to hold this one for a few seconds or like this okay great now it's resetting we will see also the consumption guys let's drive it first of all what i notice when i start driving it is that the steering wheel it's very light i like it even the seat belt it's incredible light i didn't feel that i have the seat belt on i have to check it one more time but it's incredible the the steering wheel it's incredible light that was impressive for for a big car like that for an suv the steering wheel it's very light i think everybody can drive it 10.6 meter i think is the turning radius if i remember well it's it's really good you feel like you're turn, turning in a small space and that's that's impressive at least for me it's really good um, now here are a few bumps that i can test it as well and the suspension feel relatively good that's a not not a big surprise for me that the suspension are very good also we test it one more time very good very good suspension i really like it very easy to maneuver big mirrors you have also the blind spot technology in the mirrors also in this mirror you have great visibility guys i tell you this car it's really good it's a really good buy i don't think you will get uh uh you will i don't think you will regret after you will buy this car anyway i feel like with automatic transmission this car it's it's 20 percent better it's so easy to drive it man i mean really curious how how the car is changing the gears actually let's go left here wow it's really smooth wow it's really good i didn't expect to be so good to be honest It's silent it's very silent this combination the engine until now it's incredible silent I also notice a little bit improvement in terms of um, noise from from the exterior the noise it's it's also very very good very good control here over the curves the brakes feel great and roundabout the car stay super good on the road oh yeah really really good 
it stays wow go red oh man no way i didn't expect to change so smooth the the gear shifter i was expect to be a little bit ch chunky you know but it's really smooth wow it's for the first time when i drive an automatic dacia really it's for the first time and i'm, I'm impressed i'm not sure if this transmission automatic transmission it's used also on renault cars but wow i mean it's really good the engine it's very silent brakes are nice and smooth and in the price of the car it's really good for an suv with an automatic transmission super super responsive oh yeah nice 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 had a little bit of delay when i get out of the roundabout there but it's normal it's really it's it's good it's good i tell you it's really good it's it's like a different car i don't know with the automatic transmission i feel like i'm driving in another car impressive i tell you also very good visibility in the mirrors it stays so good on the road stay so good on the curves and it's crazy light crazy light the steering wheel it's, it's super light and we are not in echo mode if i go right now in echo mode let's see right now oh yeah in echo mode the acceleration it's really really light i mean it's not more so responsive you feel like you're having a little bit of delay give you more delay something much more slower so i accelerate and i have a little bit of delay and if i turn it off oh yeah it's a different it, it's a difference so in echo mode the acceleration will be much more slower and here we have a lot of bumps and the car it's it's reacting perfectly i tell you it's really good on those kind of roads it's perfectly made for for uh, bad roads you know if you are living in an area with bad roads you want a car that you don't don't want to care about how is the road and if someone scratch you or if you want to go off road a little bit yeah this dacia duster it's just perfect and I'm, I'm, I'm impressed about a few things here that I will tell you also in the end and I'll tell you now. Um, the first one is the how light the steering wheel is. Now the second one is the visibility. It's just perfect. I mean the visibility around the windows in terms of driving position, it's, it's super good. The seats are also incredible comfortable even though they are fabric material seats they are they are impressive comfortable also the acceleration it's nice and smooth lovely great job Dacia I really like it we have 9.5 liter consumption until now I didn't drive echo let's turn here look look how easy it is to turn the car look how easy it is. it's crazy easy I mean, guys, I mean, it's, it's wow, a big SUV, so easy, that, that's super impressive, the steering wheel. The second one, the suspension are good, I like them, I really like the suspension. I know, I mean, I'm talking in this price range, guys, and don't expect uh, to talking like I'm comparing it with a Mercedes S-Class or something like that, but for this price range, this car, it's just lovely perfect tall driving position I, I i think that would be a great buy for me but i wish i have it in electric i, I wait for an electric version uh on this size and in this price range probably i hope so 
uh, in future from Dacia to see an electric duster that would be interesting I think they will sell a lot of cars I like it look it's 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 really silent it's much better than than the first uh, version of Dacia duster you cannot hear from outside the cars too much And those 17 inch rims, I think they are really good. They are, they are just perfect for this uh, car. And I chose the perfect road to, to test drive it because a lot of bumps here, a lot of holes and bumps and it's doing really good and really good visibility around the windows. Big windows here on the side as well. How much consumption? 8.6 liter. Uh, I think I can get some great consumption and we are not in oh yeah right we are in eco mode right now wow it's impressive I like it also it's relatively good positioned here a little bit down for my taste the the navigation here I wish it was a little bit higher but it's okay I mean it's it's just fine the pedals are fine the car it's it's really responsive uh, when you want to go in fast for example like now it has a little bit of lag but after all it's doing just fine very easy to control the grip it's relatively good for a front wheel drive i think that would be fun to see this automatic transmission with a with a four wheel drive system that would be that would be awesome man to have that gorgeous grip that would be perfect but still it's just lovely man anyway i praise it too much but yeah I'm, I'm thinking when i'm talking about this car i'm thinking a lot about the price of course when i'm talking about cars guys i'm talking about also in the price range i can compare this with defender for example or uh, bmw x4 uh, or 5 or whatever i'm just talking about the price range and it's it's really good it, they improve it more and more and the price stay relatively low in comparison with other cars and that's only great for the customers and even in the city you can drive it very simple very easy you have that 360 degrees cameras look at this my brother my my old brother or was yeah it was the old one the brakes are, are nice and smooth even though you have that drum brakes on the rear I don't think it doesn't matter Volkswagen now use the drum brakes on all the, the cars even on the electric ones not all but yeah many nowadays new cars use that <laughs> what can I say good visibility good control easy to drive in roundabout easy to control you don't even feel it's so big you feel like it's a small car Maybe it will be fun to see a four-wheel drive with a 1.5 liter, uh, 200 horsepower. That would be the perfect car. That would be the perfect duster. I don't know if you if you need more than than what this car can offer in this moment. Heated seats, USB ports. You have Android Auto uh, on multimedia system. I have a sp separate video, guys. If you want to see how you can connect Android Auto and you want to see the multimedia system, um, you can see that video on my channel. I already did it. Also, it's quite nice. If I look there in the glass, kind of in a mirror, you can see that the car it's it's relatively beautiful. I like the shape of it. Here, a lot of bumps. It's doing such a good job great job we are in the same place from where we live and the consumption 7.9 liter good consumption also the car comes with start stop engine system you can stop it like that wow impressive guys I'm, I'm super impressed with what Dacia did with this duster I have to tell you it's incredible and the transmission the automatic transmission it worked really totally worth waiting for for it because i'm impressed with what they did very easy to drive very light great turning circle 
the car it feels super light for the size perfect visibility very good comfort on those seats i tell you i don't know they are fabric material but they are so wide for me wide i have so much space here i really like the car also check out the other video with the interior exterior there i speak about like a review i show you every single feature of the car and you can understand more but in this video in terms of driving it's lovely the transmission talk a little bit about it it's smooth it's nice uh, sometimes it has a little bit of lag but that's normal i mean all the transmission have a little bit of lag but it's much better than i was expected that that's for sure i mean it's it's a different car it's just transforming uh, everything inside here and if you are on the market for a duster suv in this class with a low budget i think that might be one of the best option you have to go to test drive it guys because i think you will like this one my rating for this dacia duster 2022 model automatic transmission from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 it's a great great rating taking into consideration the price and what this car offer it's a great great deal anyway guys i hope i cover almost everything in this video if you still have questions ask me down below i will answer to all of you thank you very much as always for watching my video i really appreciate also if you want to see the full review subscribe to the channel to see the notification when that video will come out also subscribe if you want to see the newest cars and video that will come on my channel by the way probably next days i will do also the new dacia spring electric so if you want to see that uh, stay tuned guys stay close subscribe to see the notification when that video will come out thank you for watching i will leave the link in the description to uh, garage gallicar in bern uh, if you are in switzerland around switzerland check them out because they they are very nice and they have good price also tell them you see my video you come from me you will get a nice discount thank you again for watching you can check out also our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of information about cars videos news tips stuff like that i wish you all the best stay healthy and i see you soon in the next one bye guys